Now I know what you're thinking. Ari, how can I look that cool and work out at the same time? Hey folks, if this is your first time joining me, my name is Ari with FitPro VR and my goal is to bring you real fitness tips from a true fitness professional. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content I'm bringing you. That way I can make more content for you and keep this train rolling. So here's the problem. Condensation. Condensation. Go to a window, grab your glasses, or look into a mirror and just breathe into it. What you're going to see is condensation. This occurs when water vapor from your sweat, breath, or ambient humidity lands on a cold surface, cools, and then changes into tiny drops of liquid, forming a film that you see as fog. Your VR headset will be relatively cool compared to your body temperature. So when you get sweaty skin or you accidentally breathe into your mask, your lenses fog up and it obscures your view. It sucks. But how do we beat the system? How do we hack the Gibson? Fight the planet! We want to work out or we want to play hard. What do we do to fix this? So I'm taking the top six reasons that people have suggested on message boards, on Facebook groups, on Reddit, and I'm putting them to the test. This is the ultimate challenge to see if it's wives' tale or if it truly does stop your lenses from fogging up. I'm testing all of them, all of them. So I'll be using HoloFit on the Oculus Quest 2 and I'll be riding a bike erg. If you don't know what a bike erg is, it's like a stationary bike that sucks. And when I say sucks, it sucks in a good way. Your legs are smoked afterward. I wanted to do it this way in a more controlled way to keep consistency across all my tests. Each workout, I'll be testing how long it takes for my view to be fully obscured by fog. I'll be tracking my progress along the way too. And I'll end each workout when my view is too obscured to continue, if at all. So if I miss any methods that you know about, please let me know in the comments below. And I'd love to make a part two and just keep testing this out. My legs don't want to, but I'll do it. All right, let's talk more action. Like any good scientist, I started with a control. I was wearing a silicone mask cover to prevent the sweat from soaking into the foam that's already on the Oculus. Every workout will be the exact same, a 10K bike race. I chose race mode to keep the intensity high because I'm stupid competitive and I refuse to lose. Let's see how it went. So at two minutes and 30 seconds, I saw the first sign of fog in my upper left lens. At four minutes and 24 seconds, I had lens fog noticeably blocking my left lens and then starting a little bit on the right lens. At 637, I noticed the first bead of sweat dripping down my face and the fog was continuing to persist. And then at eight minutes and 42 seconds, the workout ended due to a full screen blockage. So I was able to get about eight ish nine ish minutes with just the control so just a silicone mask nothing else that's not a very long workout if you're really trying to push your pace so let's get into the first one which i thought was going to be the best one. Oh, and by the way i'll be ranking these from worst to best so let's start with the worst number one a moisture wicking headband so i have a junk brand headband that i wore with the intention of keeping my face or my forehead cooler and free from sweat during the workout <laughs> boy how wrong i was this was actually worse than just not wearing anything at all. I wasn't able to push myself that hard in this one because it was basically over before it started. At a minute 30, <laughs> the first sign of fog in the upper left lens. At two minutes and 38 seconds, the left lens was fogged to the middle and the right lens was starting to fog. And then at three minutes and 45 seconds, I had to end the workout completely due to full blockage in both lens. And when I say full blockage, I mean worse than when I had to end the control workout. It was crazy foggy in there. So what I think happened was, was that the moisture wicking material actually wicked the moisture away from my forehead, which in any other condition would be fine. But when you're inside a headset, the moisture is gonna get wicked away and right onto that lens. So I also noticed that my temperature was a lot hotter and I could feel the humidity coming off my forehead more than I would if I just let the sweat cool me down naturally. So while I love a good headband, this does not prevent fogging in a headset. No, no. So I found, so I found this bad boy on Amazon 
And the one thing I noticed was that you can't wear the mask as actually pictured here with it in front of your nose because you're going to imme immediately fog up without even working out. Like I literally put the mask on, put the Oculus on and breathed out once, boom, full blockage. So you, I don't, I don't, I don't know why they make it look like you can do that, but you, you, you literally can't do this. You can't. So immediately I had to change that and flip the bottom part nose cover up so I could breathe out of my nose normally and the, the air coming from my nose was going down and not up. The other thing I noticed here is that my temperature went up a lot quicker than usual. This is likely due to it being like a full head covering. There was no sweat dripping into my eyes, but I also did get much sweatier across the board like on my arms and legs. And I also didn't feel like I could push myself as hard as I normally would. So at two minutes and 34 seconds, I noticed the first sign of lens fog on the upper left corner. Seems to be a trend. And then at three minutes, 58 seconds, lens fog started coming to the middle of the left lens and a little bit on the right. At five minutes and one second, lens fog on the right side was becoming noticeable. And then by six minutes and 45 seconds, the workout ended and it was completely blocked. Now, I think the big takeaway here is that I felt like I was being smothered and I couldn't sweat the way I normally do, if that makes sense. Overall, I don't recommend using this ninja mask style thing. It's, I, I, I don't even know what it says on the front, honestly. So if you can translate this, go ahead and do it in the comments and let me know what I just bought. Cause you know, a quick Google search and some, uh, some Amazon research said this was going to stop me from sweating. It didn't. Number three, a high powered fan. So this one comes up a lot on message boards and Facebook is just to buy a fan. They even make ones that wrap around your neck and blow into your face. So what I have is a high powered gym fan that I put right in front of my bike. I mean, right in front of it. So it was time to ditch the mask and get some wind in my hair. The goal with this is to keep my external temperature a little bit lower by having air constantly blowing on my skin, thus cooling me down and preventing me from sweating as much. Overall, it kept me pretty cool on the outside, but looking at the numbers, it really only extended the life of my workout by about four minutes compared to the control method. So it worked, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it also kept the Oculus cooled down, which did not eliminate the fogging. So it seems as though it cooled both me and the headset until my body's heat finally overtook the fan and there was really no coming back after that. This probably would work okay with lighter workouts, but for me, it's a no-go. At two minutes and 30 seconds, I noticed the first sign of fog in the upper left lens, right on cue. At three minutes and 12 seconds, the fog continued to creep slowly and a little bit more noticeable on the left. And then by six minutes and 33 seconds, the left lens was blocked to about the midway point with no signs on the right. And then at 12 minutes and 30 seconds, the workout ended because my left lens was completely blocked and there was really no sign of blocking on the right. So it was weird. I sweat in a really different way this time, which was odd. Number four, drilling holes in the Oculus. I'm not doing that. But a lot of people have and swear by it. So I did one better and I went out and bought a vented cover. That's essentially the same thing as drilling holes in it. I didn't trust myself with a drill and a piece of technology that I really love. During the workout, it feels cooler than the typical headset and doesn't seem to build humidity as quickly on the inside. The pad itself is a little thinner and a little cheaper feeling than the stock Oculus pad and your eyes sit a little bit closer than they normally would with the stock frame. It does have a waterproof surface though and the nose piece does block light decently. At seven minutes and seven seconds, the first sign of fog on the upper left lens. So it did work better than the others. At 11 minutes, the left lens begins fogging to the middle and I feel my first sweat bead here. At 13 minutes and two seconds, the fog remains in the left lens and is slowly crept down the right lens. 14 minutes, 48 seconds, fog obscures most of both lenses, enough to end the workout. So if you're someone who doesn't sweat a lot, this might actually work out for you. But if you're a hardcore heavy sweater, thinks about working out, starts sweating like me, we're gonna need to move up. Number five preheating the oculus. So I liked how this sounded. It really made my science brain think. You heat up the oculus beforehand with a heater or a hairdryer 
thus taking away the chemical reaction of your hot body on that cold lens. So what I did was I hit the lens of the headset for about 20, 30 seconds with a hair dryer and then immediately put it on. It was all nice and warm feeling. I started writing and I was amazed because it usually at the two minute mark, I start seeing a little bit of fog, but nothing, absolutely nothing. There was zero condensation on the lens until I hit about the 18 minute mark where I was nearing the end of the race and started pushing the pace to get in first place. I was sitting in like third place the whole time, but I'm not losing this race. Check out the graph though and see I was really pushing my heart rate. So at 18 minutes and 45 seconds, the fog started, but it was really minor. And then it was a slow decline to about the 20 minute where the race actually ended with really minor fog on the lens. I didn't have to end this workout at all. The race just ended. So this does work. However, if you're really going to push it hard, hard and go longer than 20 minutes, I don't know if it's going to keep up. Maybe that heat started to wear off and it was cooling down. I couldn't tell you because I can't, <laughs> I can't push a pace longer than 20 minutes at that heart rate. Number six, soap on the lens. Now, this is crazy. This was absolutely crazy. This is the number one way to prevent fogging on a headset. I think I know how it works, but it totally caught me off guard. So they sell a lot of anti-fog sprays online, which are like 12 and $13. I mean, if that's your jam, use it. And if it works for you, go ahead. But this is gonna save you a couple bucks. All I did was take a little bit of dish soap rub it on the lenses of the oculus wipe off the lenses with a wet paper towel and then dry off the lenses with a dry paper towel put them on and nothing i mean nothing i raced this whole race and i even pushed it harder than my previous race and there was zero fogging this literally prevents fogging this this is the one this is the absolute one like i couldn't believe it i pushed my heart rate so hard and so fast i was expecting a little bit and i was drenched in sweat i mean drenched in sweat nothing not a single cloud of speck of dust nothing so this this right here is the 100 percent guaranteed way to get rid of fogging on your oculus and from what i've been told it actually carries over a little bit into your next few workouts once you start seeing fogging again you just do it again and it'll keep going like it's easy everybody has dish soap right so what it's doing is creating a film between the lens and the air making sure that there's nothing for the condensation to stick to and it'll just drip down your face so there you have it. Sweat is always gonna be an issue with virtual reality headsets and condensation. It just will. But I hope this video has smashed a couple myths and given you an idea of what you can do to prevent fogging in your headset. Let me know in the comments if you used any of these and how it worked out for you. I know I'm a sweaty dude, so I'm gonna be using the soap method from here on out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and wanna see me doing more things like this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe you could even hit the bell. A lot of YouTubers say smash the bell. I'm not into smashing the bell. Okay, smash the bell. My name is Ari from FitPro VR, and don't forget to get your workout in today.